not least because of UNESCO's recommendation on open educational resources. Open educational resources are an issue for universities worldwide. The strategies that are developed for this are different. There are national strategy papers and measures, and those at institutional level. First of all, it's about the commitment to open educational resources and that it is important. Funding is often advertised at the same time. This often involves building skills and infrastructure for open educational resources. This also includes, for example, websites where you can publish open educational resources, so-called repositories. But there can also be offers that support searches because they use metadata. I know Austria particularly well. Therefore, in this video, I would like to outline the situation in the Austrian higher education sector. A few years ago, a working group issued a recommendation on open educational resources at Austrian universities. For the past five years, many of the projects outlined at the time have been implemented in university network projects. The four participating universities have set up their own platforms for open educational resources. Members of the universities can professionally publish and archive open educational resources there so that others can find the open educational resources easily, the metadata is collected and made searchable. You can therefore specifically search for open educational resources from Austrian universities on the platform. Something that doesn't exist anywhere else in the world. Universities in Austria can also receive a certificate for their activities on open educational resources. To do this, they must, among other things, demonstrate that they have a strategy and a way to professionally publish open educational resources. And it is important to prove that they have competent relatives. There are now more than a hundred people who have attended comprehensive further training. Austria has also published a national open science strategy that prominently addresses open educational resources. As far as the situation in Austria, in other countries, open educational resources in higher education are also promoted differently. In a few years, we will see which measures were particularly helpful. From my experience, I can report, it doesn't happen quickly and all stakeholders have to be involved. And everyone must understand why open and free access to educational resources is so important for higher education and society 